A message from St. Michael the Archangel to Luz de Maria de Bonilla, on March 24, 2021. Beloved people of God. As you are children in need of divine help, I am sent to you in order to warn you, and call you to urgent conversion. Human beings have hardened their hearts. They are pleased with the sacrileges, heresies, crimes, insults, abominations and other sins with which they are seriously offending the Most Holy Trinity, and our Queen and Mother of Heaven and Earth. Those devoted to worldly pleasures, will easily fall prey to the new changes within Christ's Church, lying outside of true doctrine, behind which the devil's perversity is hiding, generating division among brothers. The law of God is already being supplanted by very human concepts, tailored to groups with roots in the elite who direct the world, with the objective of creating schism within the Church. When distant from divine love, and from the love of our Queen and Mother, human beings are defenseless, faced with the darts of evil, tempting them in order to make them fall. Those who are lukewarm, will be unable to distinguish good from evil, in the coming crises of faith. It is therefore urgent to intercede in prayer for one another, not falling into despair that paralyzes you, but on the contrary, remaining at peace so that your supplications would be the bomb, that reaches those in need of conversion. Humanity does not listen or see. It does not fear what it is experiencing in this moment, nor what is to come, not taking it with due seriousness. The future is uncertain for you. Although humanity is setting aside its relationship with our King and Lord Jesus Christ, without being terrified by this. What does create terror for humanity is the fall of the economy, and it will fall. Poor creatures without faith, will feel as if they are losing their lives. Food will become scarce as humanity has never known before. Lukewarm faith will increase fear and uncertainty. Humanity lives by what brings immediate well-being. As it does not know God, it cannot recognize Him. As man neither uses thought, nor reasons concerning the causes and effects of his actions, he forgets that, if the people of God are faithful and true, they will be helped with manna from heaven to feed them. Our Queen and Mother will not forsake you, and she continues to care for her Son's people. Pray, children of Christ the King. A new plague will come, bringing pain and fear along with it, young people will pay no heed and make no reparation. They will suffer first. Pray, children of Christ the King. Oh, humanity! Waiting to go back to past normality, is highly incongruent with the reality to come. Pray, children of Christ the King. This Lent should be for the good of souls. Reap and of your sins. Do not wait any longer. Do not forget my words, as you forget everything that you promise, individual spiritual transformation, must include the awareness, of what it means to save the soul. This is a continuous, conscious spiritual work in which you need to use your senses, memory, understanding and will, united with reason and faith. Do not walk like robots, following what is presented to you as good, without reflecting on the fact that good comes from God and is generated by God love, while evil is generated by the devil. You find yourselves in others' hands, which are not those of the Most Holy Trinity. You find yourselves in the wicked hands of the power of evil, which is preparing everything for the presentation of the Antichrist. Think, children of God. The Mother of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, was faithful to her Son, and her Son never abandoned her, within that mystical union in which they lived at all times. Do not panic over those who are distant from divine love and maternal love. Find peace and then, with faith, plead for the conversion of your loved ones and of all humanity, being active, is how you remain within the Most Holy Trinity, with works in favor of your fellow men. A petition is an action, a work in favor of your neighbor. 
this Church of our Lord and King Jesus Christ, must desire and find rest, generating greater faith through helping others. God is not static, God is a movement of love, He is the generator of hope and charity. Human beings must replicate the divine attributes, so as not to be indifferent to their Creator. God is life, and life in abundance, and yet so many living human beings, appear to be dead. Onward, people of God. You are not alone, you are the mystical body of Christ, and the children of the Mother of God and our Mother. You are not alone, be those who generate peace. Be sure of God's love for you. Do not fear. The Immaculate Heart of our Queen and Mother will triumph, and all will be well and for the good of humanity. Beloved people of God, I bless you.